Now that we've got onto the idea of light being a wave, and we've seen that light can interfere as long, and that interference pattern shows up because of the relative phases of things. Are we hitting a maximum at the same time we're hitting a maximum from a second source? Are we hitting a minimum when we hit a maximum? That idea comes into uh, to be a major uh, reason why this happens. So, in the same uh, same line of thinking, we're going to ask what happens when we go from a from one surface to another. We want to see does the phase shift? Does it maintain the same? All these are possibilities. Before we actually go into that, we want to go back and just mention one topic we haven't, we have kind of inferred, but we haven't mentioned exactly. And that's the idea of coherence. And really, all that we mean when we say something is coherent is that it has the same wavelength and the same phase. So, very easy concept, but really when it comes down to things interacting like interference patterns, it happens because we, have, we use a coherent source. So, that being said, let's move on to this going from one surface to another, what happens at an interface. So if we go from a low index of refraction, n1, to a high index of refraction, n2, we start off with a wave that has a, both an electric and a magnetic field, and they both have the same sinusoidal uh, values, and peak values. When we hit the inter sec er, interface, the reflection that we see, we'll notice that we are going up from down going up in here, now we're going up to down, so it looks like this, these two waves have flipped and completely a mirror of each other. And really what's happened is they've not only moved from right, going right to going left, like a normal reflection, but we've also introduced a phase shift. And the phase shift that we've introduced is 180 degrees, or a pi phase shift. And the phase shift, this happens from a high index of refraction to a low index of refraction, or from a low index of refraction to a high index of refraction. If we look at the other case, where we go from a high index of refraction, in this case we're going to call N1 high index of refraction, to something less optically dense, low index of refraction. Again, we're coming in with a wave. This time our wave is coming down when we get in. Same equation, but when we reflect back out, it's reverse directions, but we notice that they're exactly the same. They're both coming out with the same phase. So the phase shift that we have on this is a zero degree phase, or no phase at all. And this is something that's important uh, when we look at interference, and we can get some really interesting effects that happen when we go from low to high or from high to low.